Hi again mappers and more on labels today. About a month ago I put up a video about how to move labels in QGIS so that you've got more control over where they're positioned and Carl has got in touch um, through the comments to ask how we could actually stack labels. So if you've got a really long label how do we make it go on multiple lines? So I'd like to show you a few more things on labeling in Q and see what we can achieve. So I'm going to be working with the countries layer. And the first thing we'll look at is how to stack a couple of labels. So say we had Guatemala here and we'd like to have another of the fields in the Guatemala attribute table shown underneath. So first of all, let's open up the attribute table. So right click, open attribute table. Here we've got country name. You can see all the country names and we've also got the ISO three digit. So we'll just use that as an example. I'd like to stack country name with ISO three digit below. So we'll do that. And to do that, I'm going to open up the layer labeling options, which comes up here, the layer styling. And currently we've got label with country name. That's all well and good but I would like to stack it. So on the right hand side here we have a function button. If I click that you can see that we've got our country name and I would like to add in one of our fields which is the ISO three digit. Now I'd like this to be on a new line and with our expressions up here you can see that we've got this new line button. Makes sense that we should probably use that. But because we're dealing with strings, we need to add in a plus to tell it that we're going to concatenate a string, then the new line, then another plus to say we're concatenating again, and then double click your ISO three digit, and you can see the output preview down here, Guatemala GTM. Let's OK that, and have a look at it in the background. There we've got two labels stacked. Very nice. Now I think what Carlos was referring to was what do you do if you've got a very long name. So if we get rid of this expression up here, we'll just go back to the regular country name. You can see in the background it's updated. And in order to test out a longer name, let's use a different field such as long name. That would make sense. So let's change this to long name and we'll apply that in the background. You can see that we have longer names showing. So we've got Republic of Guatemala, Belize is just Belize, Republic of Honduras, Republic of Nicaragua and Republic of El Salvador. Now there's a funny character in there. I've put that in myself and that's for later on. But for now, if we imagine that we're dealing with these guys. There is in the newer versions of QGIS something called word wrap. So again, if we go into the expression, here we've got our long name. And if you go down to string, you have the option to use this function called word wrap. And if you click on this, it will tell you how it works. So you've got the word wrap function, our string, which is going to be the long name, and then the wrap length, and the delimiter of the string. And the arguments down here, it tells you what everything is. String is the string to be wrapped. Wrap length is an integer. If it's positive, the number represents the ideal maximum number of characters to wrap. If negative, the minimum number of characters to wrap. And it gives you an example below. So let's try that. Let's stick in a word wrap. Double click that. It appears and we need to, let's just go back up to the top to see what the syntax is. We need a comma and then we'll put in three as our maximum and we'll close it off again. And below again, you can see what the output is going to look like. So we'll OK that. Now this looks a little bit weird. We've got Republic of Guatemala, Republic of El and Salvador. So that looks a bit odd. You might need to play around with this to find out exactly what it is that you want. If I put a minus sign in there and apply that, 
that looks a little bit better. So that's how we can stack labels in newer versions of QGIS. So let's delete this again and I'll show you one final method of stacking. So with the word wrap we don't have complete control over it. We we can only give it um, certain parameters like the maximum length and minimum length and it's going to read whatever we have in our field and decide how to stack things. Which is okay but it's very generalized so what we might want to do instead is have complete control and that's why I've put this backslash n into the middle of Republic of El Salvador and I did that by opening up the attribute table going to long name and just editing it and putting in a backslash n. Let's put in another one for Republic of backslash n Honduras and that's fine. Oh, that's not fine. It hasn't updated. Come on, Q. Backslash N. All good. We'll close that down and we will toggle off. Yes, I would like to save my edits. So now you can see we've got that backslash N in Honduras as well. Um, the reason for this is that we can actually specify a particular character that we'd like Q to stack the label on. And again, we can go into properties, we can go to labels, and you've got different options in the labels um, properties. So you can go text, buffer, whatever you want, placement. Formatting is where we want to be and in the formatting section you can choose to wrap on a specific character. So I'm going to wrap on backslash n. If I apply that in the background you can see the backslash n is taken out and our labels will be stacked exactly where we put that backslash n. So it's more manual control but it does give you more um, granular control over how each label is going to behave. And don't forget we can change our alignment if we would like to center them just to make it look a little prettier. There we are. So that's how we can stack labels in Q. If you've got any other ideas as to how we can stack labels in Q or you know some different methods or things aren't working out for you, let me know. So thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe or check out more videos for more tips.